is 5.38. You see that? We're having cold showers every day for like in the morning first, then like a hot shower. Every morning I wake up and I'm like, bro, I really don't want to get my ass outside and have a cold shower, but after you feel amazing. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take you through a cold shower. It's, it's fucking horrible to be honest, but yeah, like absolutely freezing because I'm outside as well, bro. So, like, oh, done yet. It's basically just a garden hose, right? So, it attaches this tap on the wall and it goes down here. Then, I put a pole up on this bit of wood and it just comes out here. I have a cold shower for about three minutes. I started at like one and a half. I built my way up because if you just go in fully, like for a long time, it's like, Whoa! if you play like a song or something, as you have the cold shower, it makes it a lot easier. Like, I the song I'm playing is Yu Yu Hakusho, Struggle of Sadness, because I'm in pain the whole time. I have a cold shower now, so fuck's sake. Oh, you fucker! Oh. 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 Boys, I feel everyone should be doing cold showers. I'll just go over some benefits just now. So, you got lots of these small muscles in your body, right? And by doing cold showers, you actually work these muscles, so it improves your circulation. Normally, these don't get worked that much because we're really never cold. Like, we're always in warm clothes, we never want to be cold, we have hot showers and stuff. Another thing I was like, see when I go outside, I can just be topless outside and I don't get cold at all. Like, bro is outside, is windy, and man is warm. Like, bro, it's ridiculous. Also, it's very good for your recovery, just like, pretty self-explanatory if you work out and you get a lot of like muscle soreness or like inflammation in your body cold showers will help with that if you only have a hot shower in the morning it actually activates the parasympathetic nervous system some gigabrain terms what that means basically i'll make you tired right so if you have a hot shower in the morning straight away you're gonna be more tired instead of like waking yourself up however if we just have a cold shower first that just counteracts this and we're already woken up then we still get the benefits of the hot shower as well now the most important point the reason that i started this is just discipline if you can wake up and make yourself suffer for three minutes in the morning how are you supposed to do anything else that you don't want to do that's like productive if you know what i mean I feel like your discipline is just not good start having cold showers improve your discipline Every morning, I don't want to do this, but I still force myself to because I said I would. It's like a mindset, right? Tomorrow morning, when you're about to have a hot shower, right? And you're about to turn that knob to hot, I want you to remember this video. The hot shower after the outdoor cold shower. It is literally the best feeling in the world. Like you go in, bro, you just start laughing. Like it actually feels amazing. And you just feel like this. You feel so grateful just to have a hot shower. Like it's really weird, but it actually makes you really happy, bro. So definitely try that out, bro. Hello there. Hello there. But right, that felt absolutely amazing. I mean, every time you do it, you feel so good after, especially like you have the cold shower, it's freezing, and you have the hot shower, get a nice wash, and it's like... <clears throat> if you didn't already know, one muscle group that makes like the biggest difference in, in your f whole physique would actually be your neck. No one really talks about this, because if you're just walking around, bro, people like only see like your forearms and your neck and stuff, right? But if you're just standing side by side to this guy, and you've got like a big neck and he's got a skinny neck, bro, you'll absolutely mog the fuck out of this guy. Just search up big neck v small neck and you'll see like the difference. He's like, it's absolutely crazy. Yo, so, got protein porridge. These with frozen cherries which are actually very, very nice if you like put them in porridge, bro. So I'm gonna eat this, then right now it's like six o'clock. At seven, I'll leave to go to the gym to do a bit of push. Right, cycling to the gym now. To be honest, I really cannot be arsed to cycle to the gym, but you do the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it. If you know, you know, but uh, yeah.
Yo, bro, so, I'm actually editing the video just now, but I thought I'd go over some of the exercises that I'm doing, because they're quite unorthodox, you don't really see a lot of people do these. First one is, the upright row. A lot of people say this is bad, mainly because Mr. Jeff Cavalier, the CEO of Killing Your Gains, but, basically, the reason people say it's bad, because it, like, internally rotates your shoulder at, like, a bad place and, like, impinges it, but, the giga brain term, or, like, galaxy brain term, of like how to do this is you do an upright row in the scapular plane. Basically, what that means is you're not doing it like an idiot, like pushing your arms back, right? Your arms are like coming a bit more forward. Next exercise is the Z press. I don't, I've, I'm so happy, like, bro, shout out James Emery, bro. He gave me the idea for this. Basically, it's uh, you put your, your legs are like spread, like, <laughs> your legs are spread out like this, and then you just do the overhead press, but it takes your chest and like your legs completely out of it. So it's literally a hundred percent all in your shoulders, bro. That way, you don't even need to use that much weight. If I'm doing a standing overhead press, I'll have to use like 60 kg for like quite high reps. Z press, I only need to do 40 kg, and that just makes your recovery so much better. That way, I can train harder and make more gains, bro. Like, bro. so yeah, that's all I want you to say. Like, thanks for watching the video, bro.